Alrighty, folks, welcome back to Crappy Off Brands. We start off with number 19, mmm, snipers. Oh, don't be fooled, actually. This is Snickers, legitimate stuff, but they're just trying to break into the esports market, okay? Because right now, Mountain Dew, Doritos, they kind of have it cornered, okay? Snickers feels left out in the cold, so they're like, you know, how can we appeal to Call of Duty, to Fortnite? All the esports that are going crazy and popping off right now. Oh, right. Obviously, we can just call Snickers Snipers. We'll rebrand. It's still Snickers, but it's just called Snipers. And they'll be like, oh, I like those on the video games. I want to eat a Snipers right now. Wow, dude. Smart marketing. Incredible job. Good job, guys. Incredible work. Standing arachnid man. A long way from the abode. This is that's actually what they're calling it. Standing arachnid man. Crouched arachnid man. Crouching Arachnid Man. Hidden Ant-Man. No, Ant-Man's the actual name. <laughs> Swinging Arachnid Man. Oh. Oh. Now we're sad. This was posted 24 days ago. Before we had... Oh. Now it's just... Hey, we, is it, yeah, we get to look forward to more Marvel Spider-Man. Oh. No, we... That's that's over. That was... That, that good time was shut down real quick. All right, no, no, standing arachnid man just, just evokes bad, sad feelings now. Moving along, Hollywood in Russia. <laughs> Posting it on Instagram. Hey guys, took a trip to Hollywood. Aren't you guys jealous? Wow, dude, crazy. Spotted so many celebrities so far. Look at the Hollywood sign. We just hiked up here to the wisdom tree. It was a crazy hike. Got a really good view. Saw the whole city. Bet you guys wish you were here. Dang, living large. Instagram caption, sick selfie, bro. How many appointments do I have? Dr. Pop, Dr. Fizz, Dr. Wow, Dr. Shasta, Dr. Choice, Dr. Thunder. S uh, CS? Excuse me, but, um, copyright infringement? Trademark infringement? Dr. Chill, dude. Dr. Vess. Diet Dr. K. Big K. Rocky Top Dr. Topper. <laughs> We're missing uh, actual Dr. Pepper here. It's amazing how close you're actually allowed to get without it being an issue. Look at how close freaking Dr. Wow and Dr. Shasta and Dr. V all the all these ones are just purely red. They're like they probably actually went into Photoshop on an image of the Dr. Pepper logo and were like, eyedropper. Cool, let's just use that. We're good. We reside in a society. Evil prankster <laughs> makeup kit. <laughs> I like how they put the price sticker like right over the nose so it just looks like this person doesn't actually have a nose. You can make your nose disappear into a price sticker icon using this makeup kit, which is extremely detailed at a whopping three colors. Did you know that you can achieve this entire look with a mere three colors? Hair dye not included, but everything else, totally you can do it. Also liquid latex so that you can, oh, I guess have some texture to the, you wanna know how I got these scars? Maybe something like that. that. That stuff's probably hard to get off. Actually, I don't know if I've used that, but I've had prosthetics on my face. It was a whole thing. It's for a YouTube Rewind a couple years ago. Don't worry, it wasn't last year's. And uh, it was, the, they had to do a whole thing of trying to like, yeah, anyway, it, it took an hour to get the stuff off because they don't want to yank your skin. I don't know if that's like it at all, but it's scary. Read it. I love the new website, read it. Well, actually, when these videos come in edited, I'll type to Nick so that he knows that they're ready and he can download and upload them to this channel. I'll write read it in our Discord chat. So really, I, I think that I came up with this. This is my app. I made it. I made it as a means of notifying Nick when the videos are ready to go I read it. I mean, it does look more like with the icon right there, it does almost look like it's a chatting program where it's like, read it, which which makes sense. Read it would be like a chatting back and forth. You read each other's messages. So it might actually have nothing to do at all with Reddit and be perfectly fine and different, but I guess it's kind of similar in, a, in the way that it looks. Defective Pikachunk. Oh, well, you see, actually here, this is a preview of the next version of Pokemon, because you see, up until now, when you breed Pokemon, you still, you, all you get at the end of the day is you get a Pokemon egg that is either one or the other Pokemon if you breed them completely separately together. 
You breed a Snorlax and a Pikachu together, you're either gonna get a Snorlax or a Pikachu. You're not gonna get a Pikalax, all right? I want a Pikalax, and in the next generation of Pokemon, you will get a Pikalax, all right? And that's important, and this is a preview of that. This is, of course, a cross between a Pikachu and a Snorlax, and it is gonna be an absolute unit of electricity. It's gonna be great. Have it your way, sort of. Burger King. Bur oh my god, it's Burger Bing. I thought maybe this was a fancy bur- I, I actually just read it as Burger King. I was like, what's wrong here? Is this not a burger? No, Burger Bing. It actually has the same font and everything. And I'm thinking back to in Santa Barbara, where I grew up, there was actually, and it's probably still there, a McDonald's on kind of the main road called State Street. And it had like a fancier wooden hanging logo like this out front, which was very different from the usual large plastic red and yellow vibrant sign. It was more like old fashioned. It fit with the decor, the HOA environment of the street. And so I'm like, oh, maybe it's like this with Burger King. Nope, nope, that's Burger Bing. I, I see, not, nope, definitely not Burger King. Don't think you guys are actually allowed to use the same font as Burger King when you're doing your Burger Bing thing, but you got the alliteration. So that is a plus. You just might have to change the font, but but there's that too. Mm -hmm. Crack Sparrow. It's got some bloodshot eyes. I just, I don't want that hair in my hair around my face. It just looks uncomfortable and itchy and I don't know, those eye holes are kind of terrifying a little bit. I feel like there are better ways of doing Jack Sparrow. Like you could just wear the Jack Sparrow outfit and be you rather than wearing a face on your face. Texas chainsaw demonetization style, you know? That's just, that seems like an outfit where you don't need a mask because it's a person. And it's okay if you don't look exactly like Johnny Depp. You don't need to just go and wear Johnny Depp's face on your face because that's weird. My buddy buys cheap shoes online from China. The model is known as Run My Guy. Run My Guy. <laughs> It tells you exactly what you're supposed to do. Gives you some encouragement, dude. This is all you ever need on your running shoe. Honestly, Nike should take note and they should give you encouraging phrases right underneath the swoosh. Other than just do it. They should be like, do great, man. Run fast, dude. Get gains, bro. Sick lifts on the, on the lifting shoes with the elevated heels. Absolutely. Nike, what are you doing? Get on this. Saw this at my local hardware store today. Ah, uh, yes, of, of course, the classic um, sponge pineapple uh, watermelon star slice Mercedes sink. A classic work of art from Pablo Picasso himself during the time that he was um, working alongside of Mercedes Benz at their factory in, in Germany. Quite a, a remarkable piece of art. I don't know how it ended up at this hardware store, but Antiques Roadshow, they'd have a field day with this one. This is actually, this predates SpongeBob the TV show and is actually where SpongeBob drew its inspiration from was this legendary pineapple square watermelon star Picasso sink. Incredible work. There's a snake in my demonetized. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's a, just, nothing here looks, like, guys, if you're gonna knock off the original, why don't you try harder to make, like, you gotta have some kind of selling point, right? No kid is gonna look at that and be like, oh, yes, this reminds me of that, the, really, the lovable character from actually some of the best movies that have ever been made. Yeah, I love Toy Story. Toy Story is the freaking best. It is fantastic, fantastic movie. Um, well, movie series, I should say. And this, this, I'm like, no, I, why would I buy this? Why would I, even at five years old, I'd be like, that doesn't look right. Mommy, what happened to Woody? Why does he look like that? I don't remember him looking like that. Was there a sequel where he, he was left alone and abandoned? And, and, and then he ended up being lost on a playground. And then he had to go into an antique shop. 
and he got like pretty beat up. Is there ever did that ever happen to Woody? No, 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 honey. Woody is totally fine. That's just a knockoff. It's just, don't worry. It's not the real Woody. That's just an imposter. It's like those people on Hollywood Boulevard. They're not real Transformers, honey. Just like that's not the real Woody. Introducing the Flying Dick. Flying Dick. <laughs> I'm just envisioning this. I want it. I want to just. Oh God. I'm 12 years old for another second. I'm just imagining like getting hold of this somehow and just throwing it at a friend when they're not looking. Being like, "Hi, you just got hit by a flying dick." <laughs> I can't. <laughs> That's totally, there's no other reason to have this other than to throw it at people for like an Instagram story. You just, you start off, you know, phone on the, on the frisbee. Then you see the person who's just looking off in a different direction, not paying attention. You hit them and you're like, hey, you just got hit by a flying dick. And I don't know why, but my 12 year old brain would laugh at that. <laughs> nice try, Virginia. What a burger. I've actually never eaten at Whataburger. So, if this wasn't on crappy off-brands, I probably wouldn't realize that it was a knockoff. Because I don't think Whataburger is even in California at all, right? That's more like a mid to east coast sort of thing. Be like, what, wait, what, isn't that like a pretty well-known burger chain? It'd be like, no, 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 that's, that's not actually what it is. The correct spelling one right here, that's not the real one. The real one has the not correct spelling. <laughs> what? What? This is a hamburger, what? Can I get a hamburger here? Oh, okay, cool. Cool, I was confused for a minute there about, anyway. Yep, I've never been there, but I guess it's good. There is more puppet? Original, The Muppets. <laughs> Indian bootleg. Sarjari. I don't actually know what that means, but that looks, I, I like how Kermit looks here. Crappy off brand Kermit. Uh, looking great. It's like they kind of ran out of original characters. The Muppets have had a very long history of IP. Over here, they're just like, uh, we can't come up with enough new original characters, so we're just gonna add a bunch of these, like, minion things. We kind of, we, we exhausted all of the, uh, the original IP and stuff, so, so we're just, we're just gonna have these dudes. I don't know what they are. I don't know why they're there, but they're pretty easy for us. You know, CG wise to just put a bunch of them in, we can kind of instance them pretty easily. So <laughs> you don't mind, we're just gonna, we're just gonna throw those in there real quick to make it look like it's more of a populated poster. You know, otherwise it'd look pretty empty. It's not really fair. The Muppets, they've got a lot of them to choose from. We, we don't as much. The very best in Nintendo console. The, <laughs> the Nintendo World War One. <laughs> World War One U actually. Um, it's, it's where you go to learn a lot about World War One. Very good history university. If you want to get a degree in history with a specialty in World War One, uh, go here. This device, you'll take it with you in all your classes. It's like a textbook, but it's virtual, which is really modern and up to date and what should be a thing now, but isn't. Also, definitely has a screen on it and isn't just a bunch of balls that kind of go around which the buttons have no impact on whatsoever. It's purely, it's got a built-in accelerometer. It's called gravity and a flat surface that you can tip around and gravity will impact it. Really impressive technology, newly discovered. Incredible, World War One University, come on down. Uh, 69 bags are my favorite, and this is probably the top post of the month because the top one we've seen before uh, in a previous month. Why the fork does this bag have 69 written all over it? <laughs> wait, wait, I actually don't know. Is it, is it actually Gucci or is it actually 69? I can't tell. It looks the same. Oh God, the Gucci design looks like 69. Oh no, it's ruined for, I don't have a bag like that at all. Don't worry, I don't have a fancy backpack. I just buy unnecessarily expensive cars, that's all. Don't worry about it. Just not not backpacks, though. It doesn't really appeal to me that much. If it appeals to you, that's that's totally cool. But I kind of want to get this now, if this actually is a crappy off-brand and not legit. But I don't know if it's legit or not! Oh, God! 
I want to get a 69 bag, people would think I'm super fancy. And then it'd be like, haha, but actually it just says 69. And they'd be like, really, are you sure it's not legit? I'd be like, no, I'm totally sure it's not legit. They definitely didn't buy it at Gucci, like 100%. It was like, it was like $15. They'd be like, well, shoot, I have one that I had to spend like $2,000 on. Why did I bother when I could have gotten a 69 bag? And I'd be like, yeah, should have gotten mine at that one. Well, and then it's the top of the last month. It's me. A Marco, which seen before. I don't know if the caption was with it last time. When your plumbing business goes under, so you fake your demonetization and change your name. It's a me, a Marco pasta. I think the caption might be new. So that added it so that it got to number one the last month. So that's very exciting. Thank you very much for watching Crappy Off Brands. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more Crappy Off Brand videos. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And that is it. I will see you next time.